Let's finally repla replace the rack and pinion. I got this rack and pinion for a one cardon. I bought it at Pep Boys. That was awesome because I paid $70 less. I had discount. It was cheaper than uh, AutoZone and O'Reilly's. So I got it there. And yeah, I also got this stuff here. So I'm going to lift the car. I'm kind of scared, but I'm going to use those tires just to... I don't know, in case the car it doesn't hang in there. Well, it was nice meeting you. up we have a big red here and you know why is this for right I should do that on the other side because if I go in the car my son loved it so all right you're finally gonna get rid of all that crap uh, I'll put a tire under there uh, I think first thing I need to do is um, look at this wow so I'm gonna remove that get one side off I got also the uh, outer um, damn it I forgot the name of this thing uh, well it's pretty much it so I think I'll be able to have a look under my car for the first time be sure that those things here are well Placed. Hope they are. Uh, I'll also I'm gonna set some tires underneath. And uh, and uh, yeah, we should be able to bleed the system now and start. Okay, so I took this off. Uh, this is the side that was broken you can see here it's like it's completely open and the problem is not that this is broken because I could replace just that the problem is this is leaking so but yeah let's do it all right so I reach wow look at my face <laughs> look at my arm my face everywhere anyway so I reached the uh, I forgot the name of those things again outer something uh, and now I need to take two braces out of there there and but they say align the steering wheel it's so light I don't know how I'm gonna align it and boom I got this audio wire I had there and just put in here I guess it's a hold. Uh, I'm gonna put the seat a little to the back, which is gonna make some pressure. 
Right. Okay. Audio is the last thing I'm thinking right now. To show you. How it is in here. Very tight and full of shit. So look at that. I got this down. The top one. Where are you? In here. Where's my hand? There you go. Oh, it's very confusing like this. So there are two uh, bolts. One here and one up there. Um, I took both. I just need to unscrew them. And the other one I think is here somewhere. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, here. So I need to find it. I just got a sticker that says uh, don't remove if you have uh, aligned the steering wheel first. So I went back inside and did that thing. Checking the size because I need a longer uh, bar to take that one off. Surprisingly, <laughs> the uh, this um, wheel key, the key that is used to take the wheels uh, off, uh, works. Back in place. Oh shoot, I don't know which one it is anymore. But okay, you guys are here. All right, and it's not that one. So now we should be close to take this off. I have no idea uh, where. Let's watch it together. Wow, wow. All right. So somewhere, somewhere it goes up there and I need to unplug something that helps a lot huh uh, it is here oh, I wonder if I can go from the engine bay let's look at it I saw this there, so I'm gonna take this out of here. Okay, had some success here. Uh, you actually need to remove the uh, washer tank, the res reservatory, reservoir, I don't know how to say that. And you need to remove that. In order to remove that, you need to also remove the brake fluid thing. Just be careful to not disconnect this. Be sure that it's connected. And when you look down there, it was actually tough. Um, down there, you have these screws. Let me try to get there from here. Yeah. See? 
there is this screw is the one that um, loses the uh, bar from the inside and there are the other two here this guy and this guy they are actually the line so I'm trying to uh, unscrew them but it's kind of not very fun because you need to do like one eighth of a turn all, uh, on every time you do it. So. After a lot of work, I got that done. Look, it's uh, focus. Yep, so those two lines are off, and I also unplugged from the car. Can you see? So you also can see it from here and a little hole in there. I could have done through here too. So now uh, what I'm trying to do is understand how you twist this thing here to come off. Uh, I was trying to avoid it, but I think I'll need to remove this uh, bar, this bar here. Otherwise, it's like it's just not coming off, and apparently there is no way. All right, jeez, that was hard. So in order to take this out of there, I needed to remove two of those big plates that were here. Uh, one is down there and remove this bar um i didn't quite take all the way but jesus christ that was hard it doesn't come off i also realized that this is all screwed up i don't even know how this is called so i'm gonna figure that, that out and buy some uh this is my old one and yeah look at look at how it was and you can see here so exposed and right, right. This is broken. So bad shape. Uh, this is the new one. It is. Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I need to take this screw out of here. Put there. Uh, they look pretty much the same to me. Try. Uh, put that in place right now. It's getting dark, so let's see what I can do. Um, I'm gonna save those things here because I'm not sure if I'll need someday for something. And no, I'm not a hoarder. And that's it. So it seems simple, but if you are not used to it, I have just one word for you. See if you can see me. Jesus Christ. Look. I guess I have some cleaning to do on my car. Look at this arm here. I, don't, I can't see my face. I know I'm... Oh, I can see now. Oh, I look cute. So I need to go to Pep Boys and buy some oil. So I guess I'm going like this and so let me see if I can put this one inside let me see all right jeez that was hard so in order to take this out of there I needed to remove two of those big plates that were here uh, one is down there and remove this bar um, I didn't quite take all the way, but Jesus Christ, that was hard. It doesn't come off. I also realized that this is all screwed up. I don't even know how this is called, so I'm gonna figure that, that out and buy some. Uh, this is my old one. And yeah, look at, look at how it was. And you can see here. So exposed and right, right. This is broken. So bad shape. Uh, 
this is the new one. It is, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I need to take this screw out of here, put there. Uh, they look pretty much the same to me. This is uh, one cardon. That one. And so what I'm gonna do is try um, put that in place right now. It's getting dark. So let's see what I can do. Um, I'm gonna save those things here because hmm, I'm not sure if I'll need someday for something. And no, I'm not a hoarder. And that's it. So it seems simple, but if you are not used to it, I have just one word for you. See if you can see me. Jesus Christ. Look. I guess I have some cleaning to do on my car. Look at this arm here. I, don't, I can't see my face. I know I'm... Oh, I can see now. Oh, I look cute. So I need to go to Pep Boys and buy some oil. So I guess I'm going like this. It's getting better and better. Look at my face right now. There's a little bit of situation. So, so first, this is my old one, right? Um, and if you follow these cables, this... Uh, pipes here they are like very straight and um, they don't they don't go like too far from the the body right that one was going very far from the body so it was it was like I needed to hammer some stuff um, yeah I did I did some stuff that I'm not proud of but it is there it looks good not the same look at my face and I don't know <sighs> anyway I'm pretty happy at least I put the uh, the steering wheel I had uh, I had to remove the uh, sway bar because the steering wheel wouldn't come off I also removed the water um, the water reservatory water for the uh, this guy here this guy and this guy so I could reach um, the things from the bottom and I also figured that if you are trying to do it you can reach from there um, yeah from there I, I guess you can see up there um, the screw so I'm pretty happy uh, sadly it's like 10 o'clock and I started probably one and I won't, I won't turn on this car I won't run this car today um, tomorrow I'm going to run to Pep Boys see if they have um, that and I also I'm gonna replace the uh, sway bar link. Look how it looks. The old one. It's pretty bad. So I installed this one already. Uh, in back there. And I'm about to install this one here. This is the new one. It's uh, what is the brand Pro Street? Looks pretty good. I don't know. I can't recommend anything because I'm not an expert. It just like looks good, and so far as I've seen, maybe on the next next car, uh, I wish. I can get a Toyota Super. And yeah. Alright, so you put in there. Make some 
push it go a little bit so this can get in there That's how you replace it. It's pretty simple. Uh, oh, where is it? It looks much better now. Uh, with all this new stuff. I tried to clean as much as I could yesterday on the bottom of the car. Looks way, way, way better. And of course my face is clean. The shirt is the same, but I washed it because Jesus Christ, that was dirty, that was dirty. And there you go, computer is ready to fly. So we have uh, bar, pinion, uh, damn, I forget the name of that thing all the time. Uh, they stretch link. And that thing that I used to align that stands right there. I forgot the name of that crap. Uh, yeah, so you see here, it's finally working. Charging the battery. See, now that wasn't working. It's working because the battery is charged. The battery is located to the back. Still a little smoke coming out of the pipe, but I need to figure it out where it is. I. doesn't scream I think after a while we'll need to put some more fluid and I believe that I will need an alignment uh, I'll try myself but uh, not sure I'll be able to do it but of course I'll try thanks for watching and let's go to the next one get the